hello guys so in this video i am going to show you and explain the flight controller hawk 32 which i made which is based on the ymfc 32 autonomous quadcopter so i haven't changed a lot of things but only made changes to the telemetry system of the ymfc 32 al and i'm going to make another video which uh, tells uh, which explains you how to use any radio frequency module you want with the ymfc 32 al sorry auto autonomous anyway uh, let's start so first the basic components i have made the circuit completely according to jube's diagram circuit diagram and the only change i have made is in this part as you can see i have added an arduino and a logic level converter that's only the difference but rest of the diagram is very similar to the ymfc 32 i will show you the components this is the stm32 microcontroller the main brain this is the pink led i am using instead of red led and blue led instead of green led this is the hc12 radio frequency module which we will use for telemetry system i have shouldered three male headers for the ppm input I have shouldered a female header for the FTDI programmer. This connection goes to the male uh, the wire, uh, positive wire of the battery to measure the battery voltage. These four headers are for connecting the individual ESCs of the motors. I have numbered it so I know which one to connect where. This is the main MPU6050, the gyro sensor and the barometer which is the ms5611 is installed actually inside this sponge if you have seen jupe's video you must know that this ms5611 barometer is very light sensitive and that is why it needs to be in an environment where there is no sudden change in intensity of light uh, he 3d printed a case for it but i don't have a 3d printer so i made a case from sponge you may have seen him using sponge in his hexacopter video so i use that idea it is below this and you can see the connections are coming through this is the telemetry micro uh, arduino pro mini i have connected these wires for programming it and i have con connected it using a logic level converter so basically we will connect this arduino pro mini to the, the i square c bus of the stm32 and send the telemetry data not using the serial but using the i square c protocol to the arduino and then use the arduino which is connected to the hc12 and send the data to ground station i will explain it in the next video anyway the these headers are for the gps module so the gps module i am using is this one i bought for 1800 rupees it is the neo u blocks neo m810 uh, i made a male connector like this by individually recognizing each and every wire and labeled it so that i can simply plug this like this you can see i have also shouldered this male header so that in case this connection keeps on getting loose i can shoulder these wires directly so we will plug it, it like this the ESCs will be connected here the FTDI will be connected here so I have labeled negative so that I know how to connect this let's connect the FTDI and finally the last component to connect now this is only for programming so we will remove it while flying and this is the receiver i'm using which is the fsi6b it works out of the box and it is a ppm receiver as you may see here let me just focus yeah ppm channel one we will simply connect it like this because the blue wire is signal wire and that's it our flight controller is ready to work now let's try to start it and see its usage with the telemetry system so now i will show you the demonstration of the flight controller as you can see i have booted it up i have 
I am powering it from a power bank for now. I have also connected this telemetry system to the power bank. Yeah, as you can see here. So this blue blinking LED will represent a flight mode. There are three flight modes, as you know. Uh, the first one is simply uh, auto leveling mode. The second one is altitude hold. The third one is GPS hold. And the fourth is actually return to home, but it will still blink in three LEDs. If there is any error, the pink LED will start blinking, but it won't blink right now. Uh, I will also show you the GPS is blinking because it has found a fix in the position. Anyway, let's reset this so that you can see it's working. So I have also booted the transmitter for it to work. Yeah. So it's now blinking in the three mode. That's the because I have chosen the fourth mode on my transmitter. Now I will change it to the first mode. So it is blinking one time, two for two times, three for third mode. And fourth is return to home. You can also see the modes on the telemetry system. So as you can see m3 is third mode let's switch it to the first mode m1 one l one time blinking then let's switch it to two mode two time blinking and finally the fourth mode which is three time blinking and we can also see the longitude and latitude and uh, i can confirm that these are accurate so this is the flight controller i have made i will soon post a video of using it and flying it and my experience thanks for watching have a great day